What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Takara Tomy Transformers Masterpiece Dark Amber Leo Prime. Now, that name is a little bit weird to me because this is actually from the original Beast Wars 2 show, the Japanese show. He's actually a clone of the Leo Convoy, but on the box it says Dark Amber Leo Prime. Um, that's a little weird because... He's actually Lyo Convoy's copy, just a dark version, an evil version. So I'm not really sure what the, what's up with the, the rename there. But either way, this is a dark version or a nemesis version. And he's got some cool colors on him. You can see he's got that metallic teal kind of on the face and the whiskers and then all the claws here. He's got this gunmetal gray for the mane and the fur. The black... Although it might look shiny on my camera, it's actually a flat black. It's not glossy, and it's also unpainted. The whole thing is basically a black plastic. And here's the back. Um, pretty pretty good looking overall, but I do think that they could have used a little bit of black paint on it. Now, this guy is basically the same as MP48. There aren't really any new features or anything like that. Uh, but, of course, you get some new paint and new look. Let's take a look at his articulation. The head can move up and down on a joint here. So up to there, down to there. If you get some things out of the way, you can get it down a little bit more. The jaw can open up to reveal the mouth. Now you kind of have to open the front, the top jaw, even though most animals, they just move their bottom jaw to open their mouths. But this one, the way it's designed, you have to open the top one a little bit. He does end up looking a little goofy when you do that. The fur can open up so you can reproduce scenes from the cartoon where he kind of did that. This can open up, but I'll show you that a little bit later. There's some features there. The legs can rotate forward to there, back to there. You can actually rotate the entire leg in and out here, but also here. This will actually start on transforming it, so you don't want to rotate here. But yeah, Rotation at the bicep. Ratcheted joint gets you out to there. If you move this out of the way, back to there. And you've got a claw kind of hiding up in there. The claw can go down to there, forward to there, and then side to side. Tilt. Coming to the back, there's nothing really at the abs or the waist. The tail can go up on this joint, can bend at this joint, and it can bend at this joint. So you can get it really kind of however you like. I prefer to have it up like that. The legs, rear legs can go forward like this. Like, like that on a ratchet. The knee can also bend on a ratchet. The ankle can also bend. You can rotate here. And the toes can rotate this way and go up and down. So plenty of movement on those legs. If you want to get him kind of out wide, you can sort of do that. It takes a little bit of doing, but you can get him sort of out to the side, like ready to pounce type of thing. And that's Pretty neat. Now for the accessories, they're basically the same as the original, but you're gonna come to the top here, fold this piece of main back. That'll let you take this whole thing, lift it up, rotate it around 180 degrees. Open up this panel here, and then pull out these little beams. On both sides. And now you can put either the beams or the missiles in here, but I'm going to put the beams in just to show you what that looks like. Or if you prefer, you can take the missile. These are just done in gray plastic or black plastic. No paint or anything with those. But you can do that. Me personally, I prefer the beam, so I'll just leave it like that. You also get these, which fold out like this, and you can see there's a little missile launcher in there, and that's intended for these. So he can be fully armed up, ready to fire at some of his mirror image Lyo convoy. But yeah, pretty cool. Very, pretty much the same features and accessories as the original. And speaking of the original, there it is next to MP48 Lyo convoy. And you can see the colors changed here. The white has changed to black. The main colors here have changed to this little gray. The toes and the nails or the claws have changed to the teal and for the face the black has changed to teal tail also changed from gold to teal or gray 
Uh, other than that, though, pretty much identical. There's not even a change to the face. They look identical pretty much all the way throughout. Now, I remember this one actually had a little bit of white paint in certain spots. Uh, some of these panels were actually painted white. This one doesn't appear to have any paint whatsoever. It's all black plastic, but that is the difference. Other than that, pretty much 100% identical between these two. And just for a quick comparison, there it is next to the Optimus Primal, MP Optimus Primal. So you can get a sense of size. All right, now let's get this guy transformed into his robot mode. Since it's the same transformation as the original, we're gonna get it done off camera. I'll be right back. All right, and there we have Dark Leo Prime in his robot mode. Uh, pretty good looking, but I have to admit, it's a little bit underwhelming in terms of the colors and the paint. Uh, specifically, all the black you see is just a flat black plastic. These grays here on the crush and on the knees is actually a swirly gray plastic. It's not painted. The paint where it is applied is nice. The metallic teal here, here, and here on the chest. The metallic silver here, here, and on the maximal symbol. The head itself, let me move this out of the way so you can see, has some pretty nice silver and teal for the eyes. It's a good looking head sculpt. It's exactly the same as the original, uh, but it does look good. And there's some paint on that, so that's nice. This silver here on the lion head does look good. Teal eyes, silver for the nose, and then silver for the mane. That all looks good. I just wish they carried that over to here, because this silver looks very strange. Now for his articulation, it is the same, but we'll go over it quickly. The head is on a ball joint, goes up to there, down to there, rotates side to side, and you can get it all the way around. The lion head can move out of the way, so you can get this up and out of the way for a movement of the arm, which goes up to there on a ratchet joint, all the way around on this joint, hindered by only by the collision there. Rotation at the bicep, you have a single joint elbow, gets you a little past 90 degrees on a ratchet. Rotation at the wrist here. You can get this claw to the front because you can have this as a weapon. And actually you could do that in the lion mode too, but you can use this as a claw weapon there if you want. But intended to be folded away if not in use. For the hands, rotation at the wrist, you have a pin joint, gets you in and out on the hand. The fingers are all together on one pin and then the thumb is on a pin together. So not too much movement on there. Coming down to the waist, you have a rotation here at the waist. Ab crunch gets you basically two ratchet clicks down. Legs go up to there on a ratchet, back to there on a ratchet, up to the side on a ratchet, rotation at the mid thigh. Double jointed knee gets you the full bend on the knee and there's a kneecap here to cover down. There is a little hidden feature here. If you lift up, he's got the little boosters or whatever hidden under there. So that's kind of cool. The ankles can rotate, you can tilt up, down, and you get a tilt side to side on this. The heel doesn't tilt, but the toe does tilt, so you can get some angles on those feet. You do get a matrix chamber here, so if you open up this panel right here, you get that nice painted silver and green and darker gray there for that. Silver paint here, and that all looks nice on the chest. They did a good job with that. As far as accessories, it is the same accessories as before. So you can open up this lion head and, oh, actually we already had it flipped over. Open these up and you can use still the beams if you want to. You can also use the missiles here in the side claws or the main. This will mount into there. So you have that. So he's got some nice built-in weapons there. Uh, no blaster or anything with this guy, so you're really relying on these weapons. Now you can use this little piece right here, which basically he can hold his missiles. So speaking of the original, there it is next to the original MP48 Lyo Convoy. 
and you can see the difference here. Now, they do look good together, but there's a lot of paint on the original that is not here on the new one. So all the red, the blue, the silver, even these parts on the crotch, on the legs, on the kneecaps, the little details, they're all painted. Even the feet are painted in some areas. And on this one, it's just black plastic and gray plastic. And unfortunately, that leaves it feeling a little bit unfinished, almost like a retail figure, you know, where they just chose to use the color plastic versus paint. They really needed the paint to let it stand out. Um, especially when you hold it next to this guy. This guy's kind of glossy and shiny and he stands out. This one's kind of plain um, just due to lack of paint. Even just a glossy black would have helped, but there you go for comparison. So final recommendations on the Transformers Masterpiece Dark Amber Leo Prime. And I gave away a little bit during my comparison with the original, but I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. I'm going to give a partial recommendation and let me explain why. Now. The figure itself has no problems. I don't have any issues in terms of quality or the transformation or anything. But when comparing it to the original, and I'll just bring this in briefly here, it seems like a very lackluster. It's missing paint. Uh, it doesn't just have nearly as much paint. Some of the joints are a little bit looser just due to the fact that the tolerances are a little bit looser because there's no paint. Uh, but the bigger issue is this guy came with more stuff. So he came with a gun, came with other accessories, and he also came with more paint. So it feels like you're getting less. So that's kind of why I get a partial recommend. If you're a big fan of the show, a big fan of this character, I think you're going to really like it, especially when you put him next to the original Lyo Convoy. But as a standalone figure, I'm not sure it really stands out. And actually, I have it posed here just opening the Matrix because there wasn't really any... It just doesn't look great posed, um, especially because of the lack of paint. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.